Presley. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to be making two types of dumpling using one filling. And uh, the first dumpling that we are going to be making today is a shrimp shumai. And the second one that we're going to be making is um, their steamed rice balls with the same shrimp filling. So I think it'll be fun and it'll be yummy too. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to already start eating it. You're, no, <laughs> you don't want to start eating it just yet. Okay, so do you want to go ahead and add the shrimp? Yeah. So Trusty's going to be adding you the it. shrimp. It's a pound of uh, shrimp. Okay, and then we are, what do you want to add next? Uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce? All right, we've got two tablespoons of soy sauce. <laughs> it's in the pretzel. This looks yummy already. It looks yummy already? Yeah, it does. It, it, smells, smells, it smells like spaghetti soy sauce. Mm, spaghetti soy sauce, that's new. Okay, you want to add the white pepper? Yep. I'm going to do it in a circle. Okay. Alright. that. It looks like sand. Yeah, yeah, it does look like sand. What are we adding next? Okay, how about the uh, sesame oil? No, the powder. Oh, that was one teaspoon of white pepper, and now we have one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. Eggs. And? I got a man. This is one tablespoon of cornstarch, and the cornstarch will just help um, bind everything together. It'll, it's it acts, cracking. It acts like the glue. Yeah, no, I look at it. Too. Right, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get everything. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then uh -oh. we have some uh, um, chopped water chestnuts. This one. Yeah. So it's. Um, Hold on a second. It's a, a half a can of water chestnut, and if you're wondering what to do with the other half, I mean, you can add the whole can, and um, or you could add the rest to um, stir fry and uh, and soup. Oh, okay. Uh, and then he also added one shallot, one minced shallot, and then two um, green scallions, and couple, and uh, four. Cloves of garlic. What about the purple one? That was shallots. Let me try to scoop all this in here. Okay. Good job. There we go. Thank you. All right. Just a little bit over here. Okay. So we have some wonton wrappers, and you're gonna take a teaspoon. Let me show first. I'm gonna take a teaspoon of the wonton wrapper. And then wrap it. Or a little bit more. These are kind of. And then you wrap so it. So then you're gonna actually bring up the sides. It's like a paper boat. Except it's like. Kind of hold it like a cup. And the bottom of the dumpling will be kind of flat. So that when you set it down, it will um, stay in place. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's flat mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. And we actually have half a cup of peas for our, for our next dumpling. Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna just take one pea and just top it with the one pea. a steamer basket that has been lined with cabbage and then you're just gonna set it in here on top of the cabbage okay so hold the hold the um, wrapper in your hand kind of like a circle like a cup and you're gonna kind of cup it Need to close you don't need to close the top because we're not um it's not gonna be a closed dumpling yeah see good job press you did it but okay do you want to add it do you want to add a, a green pea in the middle yeah. the cabbage is to line the steamer basket oh, so that the dumplings 
don't stick. But you need to push those in. What these for? Oh, there's a little bit of a what shell these? from the shrimp. Let me grab it. What these? That's that's so that the uh, dumplings don't stick. Got okay, about a teaspoon. Bring up the edges. Kind of squeeze the edges together. it up to to flatten from the bottom you can kind of push it up to uh, create a flat surface and then we'll uh, show you how to do the um, the rice balls. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's beautiful. You know what that looks like? Uh, it looks like a rose. Yeah. It's really pretty. I'm okay. doing it. Okay. okay, yeah, that works too. That's like a little package. Yeah, I, I do the next one. And you can, like you can freestyle what <laughs> shape you want your dumplings in because it all it all is gonna taste it good no matter like what. A ninja star. What was that? It looked like ninja star. Oh it looks like a ninja star? Yeah you're right. There you go. The the okay. the, the rice the, is last. Yes the rice is last. We'll show everyone how to do the next dumpling in just a second. In just like 20 hours. And Presley do you know how you can tell when the shrimp is cooked? What do you think? What do you think the color looks like when the shrimp is cooked? Because right now, it doesn't really have this any color. Or this? The, the shrimp, the filling. I think it'd be like, I think the more that, mm -hmm. the more the yellow. More I yellow. Think it, it'd be white. But the, that's a half a cup of peas. All of it? Yes. Go um, ahead. The, the, and stir the, it in. Uh oh. Easier to get out. Yep. Right, it is. We don't need these wrappers anymore. Okay. So you don't want to mash it, okay? Just kind of get the peas it's, mixed in. It's my dinner. Yum, yum, yum. That does look good. Mm -hmm. And it can be your dinner because there's going to be plenty. Okay, so no, we're not putting the rice in. Let me show you what we're going to do now. So we have a little dish of water set aside. We're not adding the water either. We're going to set it down. So you're going to wet your hands. And you are going to take okay, wet my a little, hands. Uh, about a tablespoon of the shrimp and pea filling. And kind of press it into a little ball. Getting our hands dirty now. So we can wash them. Yes, we can wash them. Okay, now. Okay, now. Oh. Shrimp escaped. We put it in. Here. So we're gonna. Okay, but we, when we put it in the rice, we're just gonna gently roll it in the rice. Okay, we're not gonna mix the mixture into the rice or anything like that. You just want to coat the ball. And then set it in our steamer. It probably would be best <laughs> because this makes quite a mess if you had all the shrimp balls um, made ahead of time and then go ahead and uh, roll it in the rice so that you're not going back and forth. It just I makes it a lot easier. Okay. I'm gonna go wash my hands. You wanna go wash your hands? Okay. All right, go wash your hands. Shrimp mixture and just 
press it together gently to form a ball. And roll it in the, this is bamboo rice. It's got a light tint of green and it's been soaking actually overnight. Um, but if you can soak it for a couple hours or you could just soak it overnight and leave it in the fridge. You don't want to. You don't want to get your hands dirty again. Okay, <laughs> I'm surprised. Because normally you love to get dirty. Only in the sand pit. Only in the sand pit. Because it's fun. Mm -hmm. So why don't I? I'll make a, a, a few more of these, and then we are gonna cookie. We're gonna cook them. We're gonna go put our steamer basket over some water that's been boiling. This is gonna be really good. What are you the most excited to try? Not the both. Both of them? Yeah. That's great. Cut them the yummy with the peas and that one has peas. You like peas? Yeah. Peas are yummy, aren't they? That last one. This is the last one, okay. All right, so we are gonna go cook these after I get this on the steamer. And I also will need to go wash my hands. <laughs> I made quite a mess. Alright, for the big taste test now. You want to use your dinosaur chopsticks? It doesn't fit. No, it doesn't fit. Okay. I have my fun in the plate. Grab this one and dip it in some soy sauce. Mmm. Mm. Isn't that good? This is delicious. Thank you so much for helping me today. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah? Thanks for joining us today. Um, we're going to finish our dumplings, and we hope that you give these dumplings a try. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Our steamer basket. We've so got water boiling. How come he doesn't come over here? <laughs> No.